go. Eight or four, enjoy. Okay. Uh, Monday, April 9th, 2018, and I am out here in Lake City, Florida, also known as the Gateway to Florida. If you're coming into Florida, you're going to pass through Lake City. Chances are, at some point. Anyway, I am out here today to to watch Ready Player One. I haven't allowed myself to see any reviews on it. At any rate, um, I'm out here with uh, Danielle. Uh, do you want me to, to say your, your YouTube name? It's uh, Troll2009, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Troll2009. Uh, one of my uh, my really good subscribers on YouTube. She's leaving tons of comments and questions. If any of you want to be better subscribers, take a listen from her. I love subs I love subscribers like this. Uh, but the two of us are going to go in and see Ready Player One. What is your thoughts on the movie? Have you seen any trailers? I did not look at any trailers, but I'm hoping it's going to be as good as the picture makes it look out for me. The picture does. <laughs> it, it is a well-done movie post. I will say that for it. Have you looked at any reviews yet? No. Okay, so we're in the same boat here. We're going to go in and see this movie. Then you'll get our thoughts on it completely unbiased. So here we go. I had to explain the, uh, the idea behind the outfit. I, I'm thinking Victorian diesel punk, something, something like that. Like it's a, like this, this is quite odd. Where did you find an outfit like that? <laughs> Those came from Walmart? Yes. Okay. Long time ago. Ah. There we go. Alright, just getting out. <laughs> what was, okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, what, what, uh, what would you grade this one at? It's pretty awesome. I think it's about an 8.5 to a 10. <laughs> yes, I would give it a solid 8, at least. Was not ex I was not expecting to, to enjoy it that much. All right, Danielle has got me this here, uh, and she's saying it's because I didn't I didn't have anybody for my birthday, and anybody anybody there on my birthday, and she wanted to get this for me. So this is a late birthday gift. Uh, so y'all are gonna see it the same time I do. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it here. Oh, wait. Oh. oh, that's easy enough. All right, what have we got here? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's the Pickle Rick. It's Pickle Rick. <laughs> oh, yes. Pickle Rick. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my word. Uh, this is the only pop uh, figure that I, I own at this point. It may be the last one. <laughs> this may, be, may also be the beginning of a slippery slope. But, hey, I got it. Whoa, 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 pickle rick! Aw. Look at this, he's got, his, he's got his cartridge belt here with the batteries in it. You've got the rat parts here. There's even the rat brain back there. Wow, that is intricate. I, I, so there's no, there's no battery in the top, so it's not loaded right now. It'd be nice if like, you could take this and like stick it up there. Yeah, I could use a real battery on it. Yeah, I could find a real battery. Okay, spoiler alert, we're going to talk a little bit more about the movie. Um, I thought it was awesome at times, but a few of the little complaints that I'm going to have. First off, why was this really pretty girl complaining about her really cool birthmark? You know, she's when he says, oh, you're still beautiful, and she, and she says something like, you don't have to patronize me, uh, I've lived with it all my life. As though this this purple mark across the side of her face is just making her completely hideous. 
Waffle House food. Ironically, her in-game avatar had a painted blue streak across the side of her head that she put there on purpose, but somehow having a natural one that went around her eye and up her forehead in real life was somehow making her hideous. Go figure that. A little bit stupid. <laughs> what else would you say? Well, it was a little slow to get going, but when you get to it, that M man, hands are flying and it's like, yeah! A little, a little slow at the start, but you know, they gotta build. I could, I could give it an, uh, a pass on that. I did like, um, like, all the little references they did in there, and they didn't, like, do them where they zoomed in on and was like, oh, yes, you remember this? <laughs> You know, it was more or less just like, they just kind of threw it in there, you know. You, you see uh, Chun-Li from Street Fighter is in there. The Ninja Turtles. The Ninja Turtles were there. They even had a bomb that was made to look like a monster ball from the 80s now. Yeah. Big thumbs and up. And then don't forget the Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cube, the Holy Hand Grenade. <laughs> uh, one of the main villains had a big uh, gun that, it's a gun with a skull on the end of it, and that was actually from a, I believe... I'm pretty sure this is true. <laughs> Don't murder me in the comments if I get this wrong. But I believe that was a gun that was from a game called No More Heroes that was made for the Nintendo Wii. And it wasn't a real well-known game, but it was a good game. And it was either it was either No More Heroes or Red Steel 2. It was one of the one of the, one of the other. But yeah, it was nice to see the villain have that. Um, and the whole... Uh, they ended it with... Uh, uh, an Atari 2600 game. That was a good touch right there. <laughs> a lot of really cool stuff in there. I mean, we got to see the Iron Giant fighting Mecha Godzilla right. at a climax of a game. I mean, a game. What do you call it? Climax of a movie. And it was actually dramatic and not stupid. Yeah. I mean, how else could you do that? That was that was really well done. And another thing too is that. You know, a lot of a lot of times when people are, are are obsessed with virtual reality in a lot of movies like Sword Quest Online and, and stuff like that, um, a lot of times the lesson of the movie is that it needs to be uh, left behind and, and don't play it. It's a bad thing to play it and be obsessed with it. But this this movie was more or less accepting that people need this kind of a therapeutic release and and, and to be able to get away from real life. Um, but at the end, acknowledging that you know. Real life is real, and they closed down the servers for two days a week. So it was a good touch at the end. Oh, don't give it away. Uh, no, I said spoiler alerts at the beginning. So, I did. I warned you. I said spoiler alerts. Anyway, um, my biggest complaint probably would be the stupid part about the uh, the big mark across her, the birthmark thing. It was just stupid. And... Um, and the ending. The ending was like so sugary sweet. Yeah. You know. It was cheesy. It was. It was like that. That you remember at the the end of Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted. <laughs> wow, I think you're broken. <laughs> at the end of Wayne's World, when they were going over the different endings, and they said, "Why don't we do the super happy sweet yeah, ending?" Sure. And they did that like. And as, as kind of making fun of Hollywood movies that end way, well, everything is wrapped up and, and way too sweet at the end. Well, this movie actually did it. <laughs> it was just, it was wrapped up a little bit too, with a, with not just with a bow, it was wrapped up with a bow that had glitter on it and uh, a unicorn um, pooping rainbows onto it. <laughs> Accurate. Yeah. But uh, still... I mean, like I said, I'm going to stand by it. Eight stars out of ten. It was a good movie. So, you guys want to go see a good video game, pop culture reference, fun time movie that has the song We're Not Gonna Take It by, what was it? Quiet Riot? No. Um, oh, oh, dude. White Snake? Was it White Snake? No, Twisted Sister. Yeah, that's Okay. <laughs> I got it on the third try. We're not going to take it by Twisted Sister as part of the climax at the end of the movie and all these really awesome... I mean, the hero drives a DeLorean tricked out like a time machine through a lot of the movie. It's awesome. A lot of it was just awesome. I would go to the theater and pay to see it again. I probably will. It, it was that good. That's that's all I had. Did you have anything else you wanted to add? Nope. You said it all. <laughs> 
Awesome.